hi guys welcome to protocol dash point okay so in today's video i came up with a amazing tool by which you can take backup of your important document so it is very useful for a developer uh, who want to take backup of his uh, projects codes and any important documents so let's get started with this tool and let me introduce you with the tool that is ao mei backupper and by which we can take backup of any documents or uh, a complete uh, operating system you can take backup of so let's get started and check it out the features that they provide okay so to download aomei backupper you can just visit their website that is upbacker.com or you can just check my link in the description and you can just click this button to download this tool okay so there are various features that they provide for Uh, free of cost such as they you can clone your operating system that is c drive from hard disk to ssd if you think you want to move from hard disk to ssd drives uh, and there are various tools such as backupping the files so let's check them in the application itself okay so by making use of backupper software you can backup your operating system you can backup your disk partition files and you can take backup of anything and store it in a cloud that they provide okay so let's check them one by one so here is a system backup so in system backup your c drive where your operating system is been installed will be uh, backed in a particular location that you select okay so here it will create a uh, image file that you can make use of to retrieve it later on okay so your complete operating system uh, files that is system os and recovery uh, drives will get uh, backup in image format okay so you can just select the path where you want to uh, take a backup and then just start the backup okay so this may take some uh, one hour or two hours depending on your speed of your computer okay so i will just stop it for now because i don't want to take my backup in this tutorial okay and then the second option is disk backup so here in this case if you have a computer where you have installed more than one hard disk then you can take complete disk backup and you can retrieve it in some other hard disk if you want okay so you can just select it add it and take a path where you want to take backup of that drive and you can take a backup so now let's take partition so here i have uh, made four partitions of my hard disk that is ssd and you can just select any uh, partition that you want to take backup so let me show you one drive which i which i can take backup because the size of this is low and it may take some less time okay Okay, so I have just selected E drive, and I want to take the backup in desktop itself. So just click on Start Backup. Okay, so you can see a file is already been created over here. So it may take about uh, one to two minutes. Yeah, so it took just thirty uh, seconds, I think so. Okay, so it has been completed. So here. is the uh, image file that is been created with the extension of adi okay so you can see the size of this image file is 81 mb and let me show you my e drive okay so these are two files in this folder so let me show you the size of this file so you can see it is almost nearby okay so like this you can take backup of your a uh, partition also so now suppose if you want to take file uh, backup of your code or any important documents or files that you can make use of this option just select a folder or a particular file that you want to take backup so here just select the file and click on start okay so you can see it is taking backup so so same thing here something like this a ei format data will get generated so it completed so let me show you so you can see afi so af means file 
okay so now if you want to take a, a backup of the file and store it in the cloud then you can make use of this feature so this AOMEI company will also provide you a cloud where you can take backup up to 1 TB but this is not fully free then you, there are some charges that you need to pay for this storage drive and then comes synchronize so synchronize is basically a shortcut that you want to create for example uh, let me show okay so this is a folder that I want to create a shortcut in my desktop then you can make use of it by making use of this synchronize so let me show you real time example okay so I will just select this folder so I want to take this so create a shortcut of this in my desktop so I will just select over here synchronize okay sorry I said backup so it is just synchronizing and creating shortcut okay so let me open this file so you can see so this is the path in my desktop so I will just go to the original file from where it has been replicated okay document okay okay so now here I will just create a empty uh, folder and you can see it will be reflected over here immediately so anything you create over here will get replicated okay so you can see so it is simply a shortcut synchronization okay and next thing is restoring so here we have created uh, some backups so if you want to restore them you can just select the image file that we have created and you can just restore it in uh, in some other computer okay so desktop backup okay so you can see from c drive i have created this backup file so you can just check out the content that are in this files okay so these are the folders so you can see these are the documents that is been uh, backup by this so if you want you can just select particular file that you want to take backup or if you want to take backup of all the things then you can just select this thing okay so let me take backup of one file okay so here you can just uh, select the location where you want to take backup okay so I will just select uh, desktop so inside this folder it is taking backup so restore so let's check C drive users adjust document stage d drive weekly report okay so you can see i have just retro uh, restore my backup files okay so this is how you can take backups of your code or anything that you want to take backup so that's all for this video tutorial thanks for watching please do subscribe protocol at this point thank you